Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 26. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is sneers and nets and her hands as bands. Whoso pleaseth the most high shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Giving all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Bokakodash. The born and mighty chairs, the apostles and the elders and the bishops of Great Millstone. And shall warm to the Akin worldwide that are sincere and serious in doing the will of Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Mukakodash. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 1 and 2. To you all, Yamna brother, disciple Kosha Banyamian, from the branch of the Great Millstone, Barbados, and um, I had this video to do a well. So, um, no getting around to it, but you know, I can play this video here. Let you hear how our women right so called Negroes Latinos Native Americans our women how they plot and scheme against their own men you see and uh, this subject you know what I mean is a very touchy subject for me you know what I mean you see because um, yeah you women you women um not this is this is not regarding your sisters out there that are doing what you're supposed to do. If the shoe don't fit, then don't wear it. Hold your peace, huh? But you can't deny that there are women out there who make you look bad, huh? There wasn't you that are trying. You see? Right. So um let me get a scripture here. And then they can play this video, huh? Hey, the book of Proverbs, huh? The book of Proverbs 31. The words of King Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. What my son, and what the son of my womb, and what the son of my vows, give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. So as men, we are not to give our strength to women. Meaning don't give your whole heart, mind and soul into a woman. Because a woman always playing games. That's why I started with the scripture in Ecclesiastes. Her hands are snares and nets. Always planning for you. You say always testing you. Always testing you. And as a you ain't gonna win every battle, let me get let me get out there. You see? Some confrontations you will lose, you know what I mean? Not that you not that it, not that it is a, a competition, but it just how this life is. The apostle Paul said, Such shall have trouble in the flesh. Alright? But for the most part, you cannot give your whole heart and soul into a woman. Because she will use you. Once she has you wrapped around her finger, she will use you. Trust me. You gotta be able to walk away from these women, regardless if you have a chick or a child. You have to walk away from these women, be. And that's the best way, you know. So the word for strength. Strong's H twenty four twenty eight. Chayil. Chayil. Or it says of a force, whether of men, means, or other resources, wealth, virtue, valor, strong, substance, power. Don't give her your power. Don't might. Don't give her your might. You say ability, efficiency, wealth, force. So don't give. Don't give a woman. All your ability, all your resources, all your strength, all your might. 
You see? Don't do it, man. Right? So let me get into this video here of how this woman goes about getting the bag, huh? paid you understand what i'm saying being the nice girl the nice girl you have to be knowing to be nice so first thing to get money out of a man you gotta know when to be nice and you gotta know when to be nasty that's number one that's number one because then we get this question but i got there right you gotta know when to be nice and when to be nasty you see so we may play games around you you see? Men men is be straightforward. You see? Men is be straightforward. You don't have time for the games, but women women just wanna play games. You see? It, 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 it arouses them. So Rock 25, 17, the wickedness of a woman changes for her face, you see? No meant to be nice. I meant to be nasty. You see? So we as men gotta be able to recognize when they are being nice. And when they're being nasty, how to counter them when they're being nice and nasty. You understand that? It ain't harsh neither because it wasn't harsh for she saying it. It's just the reality of this life, B. The wickedness of a woman changing for her face and darkening for her countenance like sackcloth. You see? Her husband shall sit among his neighbors and when he hear of it, shall sigh bitterly. All wickedness. It's but led to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. You see that? Alright, so I can play the full video. I can interrupt no more. And you get a couple of scriptures, man. This is this is really educational for the times we in too, you see? Because the times we in um you remember again pull out all the stops. You see? They will pull up all the stops. And you can't be you can't think we a small head. Now is the time to think we have a big head. You understand? Know the head up on your shoulders instead of the head between your legs. You know what I mean? Now is that time. All right? Because these women, they play on your emotions. You know what I mean? They, they know how to... In fact, let me, let me, let me hear how she's moving, man. his attention span first so you're trying to get money out of him and there's levels there's levels lady I, again i hasn't done this tutorial you know but here we are there's levels this what type of money are you asking for and that's going to determine how nice you need to be and how nasty you need to be so if you're a girl who's just asking for nail money and bill money you you really don't have to be that nice i'm gonna get all that talking shit i'm gonna call her and talk mad shit about him and then i'm gonna answer the phone Hello? Obedientness. That's number two. Be obedient. And I know it sounds crazy. It sounds very. But this is we're talking about you trying to get money out of a man. We're not. This is the topic, right? Okay, cool. Be obedient. Men like women who listen. It makes him. E it makes it easier for him to want to spend his money on you when you listen. In the same way that you want your child to get good grades, all you gotta do is get A's. I'll buy you whatever you want. It's the same shit. Get all A's in this class, and, and you'll get whatever you want. Number three, how to get money out of a man. I want to put sex in this, but ladies, I want to teach y'all something. You don't even gotta give it up, and you can still get the bag out of it. That comes with playing one, two, and three at the same time. I gotta interrupt. That's why you can't think with your small head as much, boy. You have to use your big head more. You have to use your big head more, B. You see what these women thinking? You see? So you, you gotta start thinking. Let me put myself there. I gotta start thinking with your small head. The big head rules more. So Rock 26. 24. Of this honest woman contemneth shame. But an honest woman will reverence her husband. 
A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shamefaced will fear the Lord. You see that? Micah. Micah 7 and 5. Trust ye not in a friend, put ye not confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom. So don't tell your woman everything be. She's on a need to know basis. It is that simple. How was Sam how was how was Samson conquered? He told Delilah everything. He gave Delilah his strength. And they saw doing the Philistines came. She blackmailed Samson, the Philistines came, and that was the end of that. See? So you have to be a multitasker. You got to be a nice girl. You got to know when to put him in his place. You got to know how to spend his money. That's number four. Men like women who know how to spend their money. Okay? So let me, let me repeat that. Men like women who know how to spend their money. So there's the girl I take out to eat, and she's trying to spare me and not look like she's a gold digger and order a salad and a couple of things and not really eat. No, 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 baby. This is the spot you're supposed to splurge. I'm going to order that, and I'm going to order to go, and I'm going to tell him, yo, my mom is at the crib too, and I think she might want a little, she might want, she might want a little steak too. I ain't going to do whatever you want. My mother taught me something. How, how, you can't go home hungry and your pocket's empty. You understand what I'm saying? I remember coming into my house one night and my mother said to me, I said, I'm in her refrigerator. And she said, why are you in my refrigerator and you just came from a date with a guy? He didn't feed you? How your pussy wet and your, and your stomach empty? You understand what I'm saying? So after that, I tested the waters. I have never let a man take me home without feeding me. I don't give a fuck if I'm not hungry and I'm throwing that shit in the fucking trash. Feed me because it's going to tell me what's next. If I say I'm hungry and he says, yo, I'm in a rush. I can't feed you right now. Yo, you can't. And just drops me off. He's not really that interested. But the man that he may be in a rush and says, listen, I don't have time to drop you. We'll take you to go and get some, get some paper. Get yourself something to eat or whatever. Now we got Uber Eats. It's 2020. He's going to make sure you eat and drop you off. A man that does not feed you, he can't eat. He doesn't even deserve your conversation. Yeah, but what are you doing for the man? You see, all all she's all she's spitting here is how to take advantage of the man. But what is she doing for the man when she gets the man? Do you get my point? What what is she doing? Everything she's doing is to take advantage of the man to get the money out of his pocket. But what is she doing to actually keep that man instead of running games and playing games? Huh? Ezekiel 16 44 Behold, everyone that useth proverbs shall use this proverb against thee, saying, As is the man, as is the mother, so is her daughter. Read it again. Ezekiel 16 44 Behold, everyone that useth proverbs shall use this proverb against thee, saying, As is the mother, so is her daughter. You see that? And all the women are supposed to teach women good things. Not how to plot and scheme against a man. You just running games. You just what, what these women doing is just running games, trying to keep this man interested in hopes he can get the box, right? And it's so and in between that process, she just stringing him along with games and games and games all the time. You see, you hear what she said. There's levels to this thing, right? So these women know what to do. But we as men have to know what to do. You know, the first thing you got to do, return back to the Heavenly Father and His Son. You understand that? Return back to the Heavenly Father and His Son, whose name is Yahweh, who you call God or Jehovah, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai, and He will keep thee from the evil woman. So we are number four. Now we're going to number five. Now we're going to number five. Damn, I could keep going because there's so many ways. And this is without giving up the coochie. You understand what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> so, you see, I just wanna... so you see, so you see how many <laughs> they run games on you, knowing in the mind they're giving you the coochie, 
but it's just running games on you. And all you do is you take it with a small head, man. You want to get that, so I mean, gishi there, singing gishi that. Make you get nasty, man. What you getting on, so? You say? I mean, she really said, look, woman, fuck off, yeah? This couldn't say that would make a man more precious than fine. Well, let me, let, me, let me get that there, man. Let, let, let me get that there. Let me, let me get out of there, man. This could say that I would make a man more precious than fine gold, man. Not you, women. I tell you, that's Isaiah. Let me get out of there, man. Isaiah. Chapter 13. Right? Isaiah 13 and um, 12. I will make a man. More precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. So in the days to come, the Lord's gonna make a man precious, man. That's when you make a really desire us, and you're gonna be playing the games. You're gonna be playing the games, man. You see, all the game playing can be over, man. Right. So going back to um, let me play this back. Talk from experience. Uh, one of my ways, when I am in that mode, and I'm like, I just want the money. Find common interest. Find a common ground. You may not have an auntie in Ohio, but if he's telling you that his family's from Cleveland and they play basketball and they do this, go start looking up some basketball players. Go start looking up the city. Go start looking up some landmarks, something that you guys can have mutual conversations about. Men have to be comfortable to spend their money. Make it easy for them, ladies. Always be on your best dress, your best behavior. Men like that boss talk too. Again, it's levels to get in the bag. So, depends on what level you are. Because a girl that's going for eight figures, I'm, I'm, I'm exaggerating, six figures, she's going to have a conversation. You hear that? So, she, she really, <laughs> she said eight figures that she exaggerating six. So, you see where these women's minds are really at. You see? And we as men got to be able to realize when they're playing games, don't 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 get too caught up because here she mentioned she found out what you like, what you don't like. You know what I mean? And 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 you know what I mean? She 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 goes into that same subject with you. Probably by you she might give a little saying here and there, a gift or a saying. Don't get too caught up in all of that. Because she ain't doing it because she loves you. She doing it because she wants to get the money out of you. It's all about money with these women. I ain't saying all of them, but the majority of you fit that bill. Proverbs 6 and 23. For the commandment is a lamp and the law is light. <clears throat> a reproof of instruction or the way of life to keep thee from the evil woman, from the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman. Lust not after her beauty in thy heart, neither let her <clears throat> let her take thee with her eyelids. So these women is part of makeup. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> the tight ass clothes, the nasty one minute, the nice and next minute. Because what they do, they analyze a man. You say they analyze a man. You know what I mean? And they don't love you. They just want to get the money out of you. Proverbs 6, 26. For by means of a whorish woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread. And the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. And this video here with this woman is showing you how she hunts for the precious life, B. This is plain. Let me get saying here before I close this video. This is from the book Nature Knows No Color Line. Alright, it suggests you buy this book and read it. This is page 28. Right? Again, straight to the point. Alright? Um, there is nothing worse in the world than a woman, be she never so good. This is the greatest evil. Now, this is um, 
this is um either might see talking and then uh Zeus here talking all right this is the greatest evil that Zeus has made and Seneca one of the most liberal of Roman writers said the leader of, the leader of all wickedness is woman let me, let, let me repeat this here this is the greatest evil that Zeus has made and Seneca one of the most liberal of Roman writers said the leader of all wickedness is women the Jews also had contemptuous sayings about women such as small as an aunt though your house though your husband may be Selakia though your husband may be never the less conference on you right and dignity ten measures of idle talk were given the world nine of these the woman took from a woman was the beginning of sin and because of her we all die so right 25 and 24 yes right throughout Christian Europe generally women was considered an evil an enemy of faith a common saying was um, a common saying was she's the gateway to hell the Latin femina woman means minus faith all right <laughs> well so let me go back to this video here and close huh? just wanted you to see that for yourself so Proverbs 6 and 26 for by means of a whorish woman a man is brought to a piece of bread so she's just using the man to get the buy to get the money well, you, look, look at all these entertainers Dr. Dre wife divorcee want money Nas wife divorcee want money all these entertainers the wife divorcing they want money I forget who the basketballer was want money you see they want to bring the man down to nothing and then turn with their friends and laugh at the man you see when he in a low estate see for the means of a Jewish woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread. And the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. <laughs> Whoa. Station about business. The entire date. Whether it's her business or his business, the entire date is about business. It's about what you're trying to do, where you're trying to go. I don't want to hear your boyfriend broke your heart. I don't want to care. I don't care about the last nigga that cheated on you. I don't care that I have the same car as, as somebody you used to know. I don't want to hear about that. Girls are having the wrong conversations, and that's why he's not calling you back. Or that's why you're the girl who you're wondering why he's not flying you out, and this other girl he's flying out, and she ain't giving it up, but you already let him hit it. You gotta protect your queen down there, ladies. Men like a chase. They are animals, and I'm not calling them animals in a disrespectful way. They are animals in the sense, like in the jungle, tigers, lions, and yeah. Well, no anything to chase. No anything to chase. Yeah, right? they will chase us. You see, the time will come where they will chase us. And let me prove that. Isaiah 4 and in that day Isaiah 4 and 1 and in that day seven women shall take hold of one man saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach so soon for now we ain't be, I mean you shouldn't really chase no woman to be honest so, you shouldn't chase no woman you know what I mean they pick up on that vibe and then they work the tactics you've seen before you that she's putting before you. And then you putting all your energy into her and your business feeling or your health feeling or you know what I mean? Um, your money feeling. You say? First of all, you gotta chase the heavenly father and the son. That way you gotta chase, man. You understand? Know Come with him is life and days a long life, not a woman. Not a woman be. They is they are animals. They feed on the chase. The bear goes to the water, 
He sits there quietly. He waits for the fish that doesn't see him coming and scoops it. Same way men are with women. The lion, he sits back. He behind the bushes. The hyenas are running. They're going crazy. The hyenas is the girls who don't leave with the bag. They going crazy. They running around in, in, in the jungle. You understand what I'm saying? They not focused. Why, the why me? I'm a tiger. I am going to sit back in the bushes, real quiet, watch everybody go by, and I'm going to take yeah, so there you have it. You know what I mean? It's a wrap. Chapter 25. And 21. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. Now, the Lord ain't telling you to be a faggot. Because further on in this verse, in this chapter, it's telling you don't desire a woman for pleasure that is already committed to another man that's adultery you see so don't go go after these women that already have a man you see you gotta put your priorities first you as a man me as a man gotta put your priorities first my woman tell me the other day she tell me um uh what's her exact words oh you gotta get myself sorted out I tell you no problem. You understand that? Like that's all I wanted to hear. I, I throw a line, you know what I mean? You see how she play a game? These people like to play games with you, you gotta play games too, you say? I play, I throw a line to hear her response. That's the response to God. It's in a problem. You say? <laughs> a woman, if she may tell her husband, is full of anger, impudence, and much reproach. A wicked woman, a bit of the courage, make of a heavy countenance and a wounded heart. You hear that one? So these women ain't gonna comfort you if something happened to you financially. She's gonna start to drift away from you and she on the phone texting another potential meal to fill the void that you will not be able to fill. Why? Because she's high maintenance. So here it is, you, you, stress, you stressed out, but you ain't getting the comfort from these, for your woman. See? A woman that will not comfort her husband in distress, make a weak hands and feeble knees. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to gather abroad. So you gotta be hard upon these women, man. It's plain as day, be. Because eyes to get the liberty. You give them a, 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 a give them a yard. They take a mile. You see, if she go not as though what is have her, cut her off from their flesh and give her a bill of divorce and let her go. Plain, plain be, regardless of how many children you got, regardless of um, how she share, you got gap and left be. You got look, you got to show me that you you can walk away from her at any time, regardless of the circumstances, man. You understand? Anyhow, this video was long enough. You pray you get the point, huh? Return back to your heavenly Father, man. The scripture says, "Let me get this last preset." This is the only way. Proverbs 8 and 4. This is the only way to go. You understand? The Lord told the Lord told the Lord said, I am seek ye first the kingdom of the Mosai, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And that even that even includes women. Now ain't the time to be chasing the woman. You shouldn't even be chasing the woman. Proverbs 8 and 4. All these women got men. All of these women got men. I encounter women. And it's that you got a man, yeah. Every if I, if I approach a woman, she got a man. I mean, if I approach a woman, I just ask her first, you got a man? Yeah. Oh, I got men. Or I just got friends. Right there, then complicated. So it meant the sense getting entangled in that. Look at Will and Jada. He was a loyal husband. What happened? She had an entanglement. Proverbs 8 and 4. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. So, 
that's the point. All right, let me get back to the scripture I started with to end this video. Ecclesiastes 7 and 26. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart, the Hebrew word for heart is love, is in mind, is snares and nets. So she always got a trap for you. She always setting a trap for you. And her hands as bonds, she won't keep you grounded, won't control you. She won't wrap you on her finger. Whoso pleaseth the more, so he shall escape from her. So you see how you can escape? By doing the will of the Heavenly Father and His Son. But the sinner shall be taken by her. That's plain. All praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai.